Is it cool if I just stare at your croissants for a little while? Sarge, you need to stop this diet. Amy and I folded, you won. It's not a competition. We were on the same team until you deserted me for team eating food. Was that a good burn? I'm too hungry to tell. It was a great burn, sir. Now please eat, you look weak. I'm fine. I am stronger than ever. Watch this. Sarge, what, what are you doing? No, 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 no. See? I'm fine. What is happening? Just a tummy gurgle. Diet messed up my system. Oh, no. Go back inside! Are you talking to us or the fart? Terry, you just pulled two doubles. You must be tired. I'll stay for this Whitman debacle. You go home. I'm not tired. Why would you think I was tired? I ended up doing 25 minutes of sleep chin-ups on muscle memory alone. Tired Terry still gets after it. That's all I'm saying. Rise and shine, detectives. Rise and shine. Peralta, I want you to bring everyone up to speed. You slept in your office, and you look exactly the same. How? What are you talking about? My hair is a mess. Oh, yeah. Briefing room, five minutes. How long were you asleep? Just long enough for me to squeeze in a quick workout. So, like, three hours. Morning. Ugh. I can't believe you live nearby and you won't let anyone crash at your place. You people already know too much about me. I know exactly three facts about you, and one of them is that you won't let any of us crash at your place. Is that a nightgown? That's mine. It's a t-shirt for my fat face. If at first you don't secede, try, try again. When you're that big, you buy anything that fits. A lot of fat guy clothes have racist overtones. Hey, Sarge, he made my computer smarter. All I have to do is put my thumb on that thing and it opens up all my electric mails. <laughs> you seem real smart, man. Oh, look, and you play with toys. Savant, you're part of the 9-9 nine -nine now. We look after each other. Hey, ball, if Savant was to do anything to harm this precinct, would I destroy him? Answer uncertain. Try again. Damn it, Boyle! You left the fridge open. The door couldn't shut because of your empty pizza box. Pizza, please. This is a butternut squash and truffle butter flatbread. Everything's spoiled. My lunch is ruined. My chicken, my potatoes, my pasta, my meatballs, ham, my yogurt. Oh, it's a lot of yogurt. I love yogurt. So this is your lunch for, like, the month? I need to eat 10,000 calories a day to maintain muscle mass. My wife made me all of this before she left town with the kids. That was everything in my fridge. Scully. Hey, yes, Sarge. I know you got a secret stash of food hidden somewhere. Oh, no. Where is it? No, I don't. Is it in your pockets? Oh, come on. I'm going to shake it out of your pockets. Turn around. Sarge. Oh, Sarge! Go live, Scully. Oh, wow. Uh, this is fun. Release your sweets. Woo! Extreme. <laughs> oh, you guys are probably curious about this. It's no biggie. My car's in the shop, so I rode in on Rose's motorcycle. I guess you could say I'm a gearhead now. He held on to me so tight, it was like a two-mile Heimlich. Those things have no walls on them. Captain? Why are you sitting at my desk? Lieutenant Miller from Internal Affairs is here. He's taken over my office. Apparently, someone has been leaking classified information to a criminal syndicate. The entire squad is under investigation. That's crazy. No one hears a mole. How can you be so sure? Because I know these guys. I know everything about them. Well, you're a poor police officer if you don't think that people can surprise you. Not these people. Here, watch this. I know what everyone's going to do tonight. It's Thursday, so Gina's going to leave early to rehearse with her new dance group, Dancy Reagan. They're the first ladies of movement. Amy's going to be going over her weekly budget. And Charles will be attending a pizza for one cooking class. Tonight's menu, pepper aloni. And if I run and leap at Terry, he will most certainly catch me in his arms. Coming in. No, holding coffee. Pimping out your kids, I hate to say this, but you two are acting like bad dads. And I should know, one time my father forgot to pick me up from school because he was having sex with my best friend's mom. Oh my God, that's terrible. Yeah, I mean, I was 15. I just walked them all and watched Empire Records by myself. But the point is, you're both acting ridiculous. No, this is on you, Jake. You need to make a choice. That's not fair. You both want to go, and I don't want to hurt either of you. But maybe I don't have to. I can let fate hurt you. We'll flip a coin. Terry, call it in the air. Heads or tails? Neither. 
Oh my god, did you just fold my quarter in half? Fate's a bitch. You make the choice. Wow, 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 wow. Just so you know, I would never bend your money. Yeah, because you can't. Correct, I cannot. No one can. How did he do that? Hey, what's going on with those files? Oh, we're not working on them. We're on strike. Hunger strike. You're eating potato chips. Chips don't count. My doctor said they have zero nutritional value. We want meatball subs. You had no right to take ours. Screw this. I'll log those files and teach the hazmat class. And I'll do everyone's work, because apparently, I am the only one keeping this precinct together! Um, I think you closed the door too hard. All right, all right, looks good. I can barely tell you hulked out in here. Yeah, but two weeks in charge, and I didn't get any of my goals accomplished. You got Hitchcock and Scully off their hunger strike. I just threw a bunch of popcorn on the floor. It wasn't that hard. Yeah, they're animals. Do you want to know why the amazing Captain Holt has never gotten the evidence room cleaned or done anything on your list? Why? Because all day long, he's putting out fires. That's what a captain does. The only difference between you and Holt is that he lacks the strength to close a door so hard a room blows up. Thanks, Gina. Ah, you don't have to thank me. All I did was be the only person who believes in you. Don't lean against the door. Terry caused structural damage. My God, you're strong. Damn it, we're locked in. Who are you working with, you coward? I didn't do anything. I bet this was all Santiago's plan. She's making a play for the two. She knew you hit it at doggy daycare. How do you know her plan? Well, since I wasn't part of the heist, people were sloppy around me with their secrets. I know everything. For instance, I know the real tube is inside that creepy fake baby doll. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? I was trying to be respectful of the heisting process, but that was before I got screwed over. Well, your intel is of no use since we're locked in here. Unless... You smashed your gigantic body through the wall. I am not the Kool-Aid man! We're kind of trapped in here. Not for long. I'm gonna Kool-Aid man us the hell out of here. I thought you said that was impossible. It's not. I just find it demeaning. It's actually very easy. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, oh, yes! Now go through that wall! I'm not doing any more walls, Jake. We're free! Fair enough, I had to ask. Peralta, hey! Don't you one minute me, I will break that finger off. Hang up that phone. I'm talking to my credit card company. I tried to get an online subscription to The New Yorker and they declined me. Apparently, based on my previous purchases, they assumed it was fraud. It's crazy. I'm fancy. One time I had coffee flavored ice cream. Shut up. Okay. Hang up now. If you're that desperate, the first two paragraphs of the article are on the free site. You have one minute to look it up. And then if I catch you on that phone again. Oh my. Don't worry, I'm due for an upgrade and my babies are on a cloud. He is so strong. The plan worked, I got it. Oh my God, you look like an Oscar. Ooh, we should take a picture where it looks like I'm holding you. Jay. You're right, there's no time, we'll do it later. No, we won't. Help me get this paint off. Okay, put your hands out and I'll squirt you with a little makeup remover. Hiya! No! You're betraying me again? Why? Because of the banner. But I thought you said our friendship was more important. Yeah, that was obviously a lie. The banner was very expensive. I don't have a lot of money, Sarge. All right, bye. Don't make a lot of noise. Jay! Oh, Terry, you ripped yourself free. Yeah, maybe you should try cuffing me to a stronger metal next time. Yeah, I don't know the relative strength of metals. We've busted murderers. We've taken down cartels. But today we face the worst New York has to offer. The fire department. Fire Marshal Boone, we meet again. Detective Peralta, your fly's down, it made you look. I didn't look and I'm wearing shorts, there is no fly. That's not what your mom said. You make no sense. And now I'm inside your head. Prepare to die. Blue 52, Choose the day every time. <laughs> you have one play. You give the ball to Jeffords, and he runs it in. I, I'd like to see you score one. Good, because you're about to see it. You're about to see it straight to hell. On high! Now, Terry! I'm gutted. 
This is awful. Is this how you feel every time I trick you? Pretty much. Yeah, it always hurts. Wow, I'm sorry, man. It must be really hard to hang out with me. Well, it's a tough relationship, but it's exciting. Hey, Doug, I'm sorry for not trusting you. Turns out you had nothing to do with this. Oh, so you admit people can change. Yes, whose banner's pants and shirt were correct. You know what this means, right? 6,203, 6,204. I am so glad I lost this bet. I never find time for things I enjoy. This is so unsatisfying. You're not even sweating. It's too easy. Get on my back, Jake. No, I'm not. Get on my back, Jake! Coming strong, man. Hello, Terry. I just thought I'd stop by and let you know that I'm on my way to the bank. That's right. I'm going to pay you back because I know your secret. What are you talking about? I don't have a secret. Oh, really? Fact the first, after years of not caring about my debt, you weirdly want me to pay you back now. That implies to me that there is a sudden, unexpected expense. Or I got sick of waiting for you to do the right thing. Not plausible. You have endless patience for my shenanigans. Fact the second, you've had dentist appointments twice in the past two weeks. No one goes to the dentist that much. I haven't been in seven years. You should go to the dentist, Jake. Probably. My teeth hurt all the time. Fact the third. I'm really liking this fact the thing. I'm gonna stick with it. Fact the fourth. I found this on your desk. It's a list of names. Nathaniel Jeffords, Alexa Jeffords. Those are my cousin's names. Lies! There is but one conclusion. You, Terry Jeffords, are pregnant. The names are baby names. The dentist, an obstetrician. And the money is for baby things, like diapers. <laughs> what are you talking about, yeah. man? That is crazy. Damn it! Seth. Does anybody else know? No, just you and your wife and Crash. That's what I think you should name the baby. Works for a boy or a girl. Listen up, Jake. We just found out Sharon is pregnant, and it's way too early to tell anyone. This is a secret. Do you understand me? Do you? Do you understand me? Oh, this got physical very quickly. This is adult stuff, Jake. Mm. Be serious. Look, I promise I won't tell anyone, all right? My lips are sealed. Good. Do I even weigh anything to you? No. It's like holding a couple of grapes. Looks like we're all clear. Good job, guys. Oh, nothing can stop this tramp train. Boyle, stop finding variations on a word we hate. OK, Sarge, lift up the super heavy thing that no one else is strong enough to lift. <laughs> nice, Sarge. Keep lifting heavy stuff like that, and maybe you'll work off some of that bulk, huh? What? Scully, are you hurt? Is that blood? It's glitter. There was a box on Jake's desk. I opened it and it just exploded. I can't feel my face. And not to be rude, but is that something you can normally feel? Oh, right. Uh, I guess I'm fine. Jeffords, evacuate the precinct. I'll contact the bomb squad. No, 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 wait. I think this actually might have been a prank that malfunctioned. Look, the box was connected to a tank of compressed air under the desk. It was supposed to shoot glitter at whoever opened it, but something must have clogged the pressure release valve and the tank exploded. Wow. The silver lining is no one got hurt. And the lead lining is that this prank caused significant property damage in the precinct. Fair point, but we do shatter a lot of glass around here. I mean, either it's Rosa who's disappointed in her BuzzFeed results. I am not a Blanche. Or Charles trying to bro out. Up the fast, dude! Or just Terry gently shutting a window and forgetting how strong he is. You ready, Sarge? I was born ready. And then I was not born ready for a while, but now I'm back to being born ready. Yes! The Ebony Falcon soars again. The Ebony Falcon. His feathers are muscles. Let's talk strategy later tonight at my house. My wife's working late. I'm on daddy duty. But you're ready for this, right? Absolutely. I just need to put my precious babies to bed with a story. The Ebony Falcon needs to read Go Dog Go. Yeah, he does. Terry Jeffords is back. Chest bump me. You don't want to do this, man. No, I really do. It hurts you every time. No, I know, but I'm fired up. The adrenaline is going to carry me through. Here we go. <laughs> Peralta, boy. Sarge, hey. I'm so psyched you made it here to the sting that I definitely told Charles to tell you about. You lied to me. I can see that you're upset, but let's just sit down and talk about it. Done talking. Time to dance. Fine, but I should warn you. I took three years of tap. Again, Sarge, it's so good to see you. Uh, just out of curiosity, how did you find out about this? I'm a detective sergeant in the NYPD. Holt told me. Why are you cutting me out of the operation? What? That's crazy. Boyle, come in here and stand in front of my body and tell him that's crazy. Ow, my lucky face! You gonna talk to me now? Uh, sure, uh, if you could be any vacation. Oh! You didn't let me finish. 
If you could be any vacation, what would you be? I'd be skiing. Oh, now I'm gonna hit you for real. That wasn't for real? Oh, my God. No, wait, wait, wait! You better look cute in this picture, and no one's gonna want you. Do something with your damn paws! Whoa, whoa, Sarge, relax. Look, I think you might be overreacting a little to this prank, and I should know. You probably won't believe this, but I was bullied in high school for being too handsome. I don't believe you. You're right. It was for setting my crotch on fire in shop class. Hurt like the dickens. Point is, haters gone hate, shake it off, Taylor Swift, always right. The reason bullies get to me is because I live with one. My dad, he was a cruel man who didn't like his life, and he took it out on me. OK, OK. Now we're getting somewhere. And if you're having dad problems, that's my jam, son. Real weird take on my crappy father. You know how I turned the corner with my dad? I stood up to him. And that's what you need to do with your dad. No, he died in 1988. Oh, OK, well, that probably won't work then. But it doesn't mean you can't go over to the 6'5 and stand up to those bullies. Well, just make fun of me more. What are you talking about, Terry? You are a human mountain. You have more muscles in your ears than I have in my entire body. Never skip ear day, Jake. You can crush metal with your bare hands. You can lift a city bus. You can make your boobies do that bouncy thing. They're called pecs. Same thing. Now get on over to the 6'5 and make those big jerks take back that tiny kitten. Yeah, all right. I'm doing it. Didn't work. Now I have more kittens than before. What? How? <clears throat> hey, Terry. <clears throat> you get my email? About how I was coming down here? No, I haven't checked my phone. Ah. No need. I just wanted to make sure you were here, you know? You know how I like to have a weight mate. Really? I have never seen you in the gym. What? I basically live here. I'm a regular gym dandy. Besides, I gotta get into shape for all the godfathering I'm gonna do. I mean, how am I gonna throw our baby up into the air with these noodle arms? Good point. So take me through your workout, man. Rip me up, you know? Let's rip it out. Time to rip it down. Those aren't gym times. And I don't think you can handle my workout. Oh, wow. Sounds like a challenge to me. Come on. Give it here. I gotcha. Ready? Yep. Oh, my God, so heavy. Come on, push it. Push it! Yeah! Five! Oh. oh, man. This is almost too easy. Are you crying? No, that's eyeball sweat. All right, let's wrap this up. I gotta call Sharon and get back to work. No, no, no. Hey, I thought you said this was gonna be a challenge, huh? It's been a cakewalk so far. Oh, you want me to make this harder? Yes. That is what I want, more harder exercise. Look, Sarge. I burned 200 calories. That's your heart rate. Yeah, that checks out. Come on, Jake, 10 more minutes. I think we should stop now, Peralta. No, no, I'm still good. Check this out. Right hook, right hook, uppercut. Ah, my arms don't seem to be responding to my brain anymore. <laughs> Come on, Jake, let's go. So how much blood do you usually have in your mouth when you do this? None. Ah, oh. Great, I'm done. Great workout, Sarge. I have an EpiPen back at the house. Would you call someone and have them bring it? There's no reception. I'll just run back. I haven't done cardio in 20 years. How hard can it be? It's immediately awful. How'd the interrogation go? Gregory confessed to the stabbing. Nice work. I just talked to my wife. We're waiting on the operation. Everything's cool. Did you tell her we slept together twice? Thanks for taking care of me. I got you a little present. Do you know what a present is, Terry? I care about my friends. Now, eat your carrots, or I'll rip your tiny head off. No, no, Come here. no! Ah, I hate being friends with you! If I go into this bathroom, I could climb through this vent, drop down into the archive room, and steal the file. How are you gonna get out? Pull myself back up the way I came in. What, I can do a pull-up. Terry will teach me. Come on, man, use your muscles. Use my muscles? Oh, great, why didn't I think of that? Great advice, Terry. You know what, it's a pull-up. There's not much to coach here. So there's Carrie, Miranda, Charlotte, and Samantha, but New York City is really the fifth character. Hmm. What about Steve? He seems nice. Oh, Steve is nothing, no one likes Steve. Steve is nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't get it. Miranda could have had Blair Underwood, but she settles for Steve. Oh, but you do get it, sir. See, now you do. How is 
you doing that helping me? Scully. What was it? Good job. Can you do it without screaming? Pra bub Lee. Hey, what's up, guys? Look, I'm sorry, I'm a little busy right now. I got some female companions over, you know. Oh, really? What are they, like some nerdy sci-fi fans or? <laughs> Good lord. I don't know what I'm looking at. I told you, man. He pulls. He pulls. Okay, stop saying pulls. Mr. Parlov, we have to talk to you. No, we're not accusing you of anything. We just want to ask a few questions. You know, we're probably wrong. We should just go. Serge, no. God, you're strong. Mr. Parlov, did you send yourself those death threats for publicity? Are you kidding me? I have no need for publicity. The handwriting and the death threats matches perfectly with the inscription you wrote to Terry. Yeah, tell you the truth, I didn't actually write this inscription myself. What? what? Come on, you guys, grow up. You think I have time to answer each letter I get from every sad little fat kid that writes me? Come on, that's why I've got assistance, precisely for that sort of crap. But you said you remembered me. Because you were the cop assigned to my case. Look, I didn't want to piss you off. The man you're looking for, he's my ex-assistant. His name is Edmund Grail. The guy hates me. I slept with his wife, so naturally I had to fire him. Yeah, it's a cool story. After that, I got sort of involved with his sister. It was kind Please of Please stop just... talking. Fine. I have a little bit of a... Uh... Research to attend to myself, if you understand what I'm talking about. Enjoy having sex with three gorgeous women in cosplay. Well, that went terribly. I am so sorry. Do you need a moment alone, or you want to talk about it? Yep, yep, that works too. Hey, good news. Found the address of Parlov's old assistant. I'm going to go over there and question him. You want to come? Maybe he won't open the door and you'll have to kick it down. That always cheers you up. I don't feel like kicking down doors. What about running really fast through a wall, leaving a perfect outline of your body? Like a cartoon? Mm -hmm. No. Hello? Anyone? We're stuck in the elevator! Can't you yell any louder? Use those big, strong lungs you're always flexing. These are my pets. So this is all just for show, then. It has no functional purpose. I mean, I am pretty strong. Good, then rip those doors open. I can't do that. Oh, well, at least you haven't dedicated a significant portion of your life to looking like this. Somebody at the door. Hey, Sarge. Sorry about the mess. Hi, Cagney. Hi, Lacey. Hey, your kids like the same kind of cereal as me. Well, we just finished story time. I'm going to kiss the girls night-night, and then we can get down to business. All right, time for night-night, girls. He is so strong, but so gentle. He's like an enormous, muscular Ellen DeGeneres. Thank you for coming in today. We are here to assess your readiness for active duty, and if all goes well, I will stamp this release form. You can go back in the field. Well, I think I'm ready. I am no longer fixating on my fears. <laughs> Good, but for today, let's fixate on those fears. Okay, uh, that sounds fun. Let's begin by talking about your baby girls and your wife and uh, what would happen to them if you died in the line of duty. I popped your pillow. Any news, Sergeant? Uh, last I heard, they've located one shooter, but they can't get to him. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't realize you were on the phone. Oh, just on hold? What's up? I just wanted to check in to see if you were all right. I couldn't help but notice that you've flattened your mouse. Sorry. I get crushy when I'm nervous. If there's anything you want to talk about, my door is always open, uh, metaphorically. In reality, I often keep my door closed for privacy, security, climate control. You know what? I never even should have used a metaphor. I'm better than that. If there's anything you want to talk about, please do so now. Terry! So what happened at breakfast with Gary? Are you leaving us for Copperhead? Because I am prepared to light Charles on fire in protest. Relax. I declined the offer. Told them I wasn't interested. Eat it, Gary! I gave him back all his swag, except for the puffy vest, which I, uh, lost. Drop him now, or this is... Nah, man. You did, crap sack. All right, Sarge! You decided to be cool. I'm always cool. I also couldn't spend another second listening to those ATF wads bitch and moan. Leave it to the NYPD to screw up being hostages. I thought cops love to sit around on their fat asses all day and do nothing. That's it. Whoa! My ass is not fat! Kind of sounds like it was just about your weight issues. I'm not gonna lie, that did strike a chord. But I also didn't like the stuff they were saying about us. Because I'm not done with my testicles yet. I'm gonna let them see! Hey! 
Uh-oh, walk of shame. Same clothes as yesterday. I slept at the Sarge's. It was horrible. Come here, phone. All right, let's get going and interview that suspect. I have my makeup vasectomy this afternoon, so. I'm sorry, your what what vasectomy? Last night, you told me you didn't want that. Then you fell on top of me and changed the shape of my skeleton forever. No, I definitely want one. That was the drugs talking. I was high as a kite. Did I do this and call you Tiny Head? Yes. Some things are coming back to me now. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Tiny Head. Jake, I am so scared that man is about to make a huge mistake, Ari, his vas deferens. I know. He made me promise to not let him get that surgery. And it wasn't just the drugs. He doesn't want this. As his friend, it's my job to stop him. Sorry, Terry turned my spine into a loose stack of pebbles. Oh, come on. Another drill? Hello. My name is Adelaide. I'd like to report a crime. So we're just doing one of these every day? Oh, you got it. I know you got it. I want my money. Tick, 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 tick. Why are we doing this? It's captain's orders. My name is Adelaide Van Hoyt. I'm 89 years old, and I'm here to report a crime. Not a problem. We can help you. Adelaide Van Hoyt, 89 years old. Goatee, 6'3", 290 pounds. Hey, this is a tight 240. Show Adelaide some damn respect. I miss my mommy. This is boring. Captain's not here, Sarge. You can drop the act. You can drop your butt. You can drop your butt. It's OK. I got this. How about we finish building this tower? The structure's done, but we've barely started on the landscaping. I want to build a spaceship. <laughs> I worked so hard on that. There were stables. So what's the plan at the gym? Uh, well, I say we slow play it, you know? Do a little more setup, a little surveillance, wait a couple months and see if they turn themselves in. Listen, man. I know everybody's worried about me being psychologically ready for this, but I promise you I am. No matter what happens, no matter how many bullets are flying, I'm going to be right there in the middle of everything. I got your back. No, it's not even that, you know? It's just, well, frankly, I'm not so sure that everyone at the gym is going to buy you as a trainer. You've been sitting behind that desk for so long, you've gotten a little tubby, right? It's like love handle alert. Do you have a bone there somehow? Captain Hold, I need a. What's going on? My doctor said I should be more active, but my squash club recently transitioned to racquetball. Since I'm not a dope smoking hooligan, I decided to quit. Boyle's teaching me yoga. Genevieve got me into it. You can't believe how many different ways I can wrap my legs around her. Six. Captain, if you wanted to be healthier, why not come to me? I'm ripped as hell. Sarge, health is about flexibility and peace of mind and bone strength, not building vanity muscles. Vanity muscles? I use all of these. Really? Even the large neck ones? They help me sleep upright on airplanes. Well, there's no reason to be defensive. Just because you don't have the bone strength of a yogi, we all have our thing. You're a muscler, I'm a boner. Lieutenant, as you know, I've been walking the same beat for the past three weeks. It's become a bit tedious. I thought you loved tedium. I love monotony. They're very different. I'm sorry, but you know our policy is that uniformed officers must walk the same beat for six months. It's how they become familiar with the community they serve. Well, surely you can make an exception for me. I can't play favorites. You never did when you were in charge? Of course I did. Really? I never got any special treatment. I think you can do the math here. Damn. Well, think of it this way. It's like doing reps at a gym. Doing something over and over again is how you make your pecs pop. The only muscle I care to work out is my brain. Then get your reps in and make your brain pop. Pop, 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 pop. What you're describing is an aneurysm. Pop, 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 pop. I'm Terry Jeffers. And when I put my mind to something, I do it. <laughs> my resting heart rate is six. Six, boy.